Okay, boys and girls, today we are going to go back over our different properties of objects. There are five different ways that we can uh, describe objects. So we're going to use our first one. We use our eyes to see the color, the shape of something, and the size, if it's really big or if it's really, really tiny. The next thing we can do is to touch an object. We can see if it is soft, if it is hard, if it is um, rough, that means it's kind of scratchy. Um, if it's smooth, like the whiteboard is very smooth, uh, my hand can just move over it nicely. The third one is our sense of hearing. We hear volume in the car. It can be really, really loud, like a firework. Or it can be really, really soft, like a whisper. Um, it can also be really, really quiet, is another word for soft. Our fourth one is taste, which you do with your tongue. When you taste a Skittle, it's going to taste really sweet. If you taste hot sauce, it's going to be really, really spicy. Um, if you taste a Sour Patch Kid, it's going to be very, very sour. Our last one is our sense of smell. Our smell smells odors, which is what you smell. Um, dog doo-doo is going to smell very bad. Uh, hand soap is going to smell very good or pleasant. Um, Laundry that has just been done can smell very, very fresh. So today what you're going to do for your science experiment is you are going to find something in your house, some object. I'm going to go get my object. You guys are going to like this object. So I am going to use Mr. Snail, who all of you guys know. So you're going to need your journal and you're going to want to write the five senses. So you're going to want see, touch, hear, taste, and smell. I left room up here so I can draw my snail, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and draw Mr. Snail. You guys look, look much better than mine. Does he have a tail? No, he doesn't have a tail. I'm going to draw him on the ground. All right, so now I'm going to see what he looks like. Well, what color is he? He is gray and brown. So I'm going to write that on my chart. Gray, brown. Alright, now I'm going to touch him. He's going to hold my marker for me. Oh, he's a stuffed animal, so he's very, what do you think? Soft, you're right. So I'm going to write soft. Alright, my next one, here. Do I hear anything from Mr. Snail? No, so I'm going to put an X on here. I don't hear anything. Taste. Mr. Snail, can I taste you? I'm not going to taste Mr. Snail. I can't taste him. So I'm going to put an X here. Now, can I smell Mr. Squirrel? It's not Mr. Squirrel. Mr. Snail? I can. He kind of smells old. So I'm going to put old. Okay, so I have my senses. I used my senses on what I could. I can't hear Mr. Squirrel, and I can't taste Mr. Squirrel. So I'm going to put an X. Just like if you chose an orange, you're not going to be able to hear an orange. That's something that you eat. It's not going to talk to you. So today, go in your house, find some kind of object. It could be a stuffed animal like Mr. Snail. It could be a piece of food 
like an orange or an ice cream cone. And I want you to use these words, smell, taste, hear, touch, and see, to tell me about your object. I'm going to upload a picture of the property's anchor chart to help you when you're filling out your own, okay?